G'day, g'day, fellas, and welcome back to the Reload Draft Build. If you don't know how this works, I highly advise you go back and watch episode one. Let's start off with some staff points. 4% trade value increase for user draft picks. I did not see that. Yo, we need to get that maxed out immediately, as soon as humanly possible. That is a lot of first rounders, bro. Oh, next year we only have one first, okay. That makes a lot more sense. So far, we're zero and two in the season, but that's good. That's exactly what we want. Next year, we can start kicking ass. Let's go scout these college players. The Alabama quarterback is the only first rounder. I'm glad that we saved our money because we're definitely going to need to get a quarterback in free agency. And whatever quarterback that is needs to be our franchise QB. All of these guys are projected undrafted. They're terrible, mate. Absolutely terrible. So in this year's draft, we're straight up going after the best talent available. Whatever we can get. Jalil Walls, already in early first. We'll throw him on the board. There's a lot of O-linemen early as well. I like that. We need O-line bad. Speaking of which, there's a lot of freaking defensive linemen as well. What's going on here? Jalil Walls looks like the best player in this class. And then 5-8 to eight is all defensive lineman as well oh hip power that's not good b plus awareness though that is good early first rounder for emmanuel smith he's going on the board mark montague as well is also i i definitely like emmanuel smith a lot better though all the best players are late in the first round if we're at the 12th pick and jalen is still there i'm 100 taking this guy a a minus and b plus is nothing to be laughed at I don't know what is going on with my draft classes lately, but I have not been hitting. Justin Davis is a BBC. Do what you will with that information. Is there one good offensive lineman in the first round? One. Not, not even two. I'm not being selfish here. I just need one. Greg Spencer, you're the last hope. Terrible. I have a feeling that Jalil Walls, Emmanuel Smith, and Jalen Thompson are the superstars of this class, without a doubt. They're the only three guys that I've found that are early first. Zay Barton as well, but a wide receiver is definitely not what I'm after. And if you're sitting there wondering, well, why don't you just trade for a quarterback? You are not allowed to trade. The Bengals were also 6-0 and we beat them 45-24. Our defense already has such a big leg up that I think I'm just going to focus on that. Like, we're going all pure defense right here, mate. Especially with the three guys we just found in the draft. Another mid, but this guy's 23rd in the class. If you're a mid first rounder in the late first round, you earn yourself... The fifth spot on the draft board. Do we have a running back? We don't. Oh, that's good. I love drafting running backs. Who's the fastest? Johnny Wesley is the only running back. He's an early first rounder. I don't think I'm going to take him early first though. I'd rather take somebody in the second round like Philip McCauley, for example. He looks amazing. He's another early. Uh, that's it. Philip McCauley's our guy. We just need to get the combine stats back. And then after we have that, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and drop Keith Reeves underneath Wesley and McCauley. I'm liking the draft board so far. It's looking nice. The only thing left to really scout is uh, <laughs> offensive linemen. I just know that everybody is not good. Like George Trainer, not good. At least if I have their first stat uncovered and then we cross-reference that with their combine, that should be more than good enough to decide who is really worth pursuing or not. Oh, look at this guy in the third. Wow, what a steal, Tyler Allen out of Alabama. If his bench press is like 36 reps or higher, I'm taking him in the early second without a doubt. It would appear as if Tyler Allen were the only good O lineman here, which is very frustrating. I think we have a free safety, so strong safety. We have, yep, we have them. I don't really know where else I need to go here. I guess receiver wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. JJ Locke is not good. Wow, there is a four-way tie for last between the Giants, Falcons, and Saints. Sorry, the Saints are three and 11. What happened to the Saints, mate? I don't know what's going on right now. I've already done all the scouting I need to do. What's going on with the fullback, so Steve Bean? Can I take you late in the draft? Steve Bean is a second round quality player, mate. Steve Bean made the list. <laughs> the Fresno State uh, fullback, without a doubt. So we finish with a four and 13 record. Let's hope that the other four teams all won at least two games. Ah, we're now second last. The Giants hold the first pick. I'm pretty sure the Giants do. So far though, so good. If this draft can go how I want it to, and the free agency, we are in a very, very good spot. And by that, I mean I need a quarterback. Zeke was your MVP. The Cowboys also made it to the Super Bowl, but we'll get a look at that in a moment. 
Trey Lance was second in MVP voting. That's crazy. Jeff Harper was our rookie receiver. He got second. What our defensive rookie was Blade. Blade finished fourth. So obviously his season wasn't that crazy. Chuck Carter finished ahead of him. All right, so this is pretty funny. The Bengals, who we smashed 45 to 24 in week seven, ended up winning the Super Bowl. Joe Mixon was your MVP. Taysom had a good season, 4,700 yards, 30 touchdowns, 14 picks. For a guy who was 68 overall, he did very, very well. Rushing in, Bruce Anderson, who has played his last snap, even the Armadillos at 590. Brandon Cooks had over 1,000. Brevin Jordan had over 1,000. Jeff Harper in his rookie season had just under 1,000 and seven touchdowns. Anthony Miller as well, who did re-sign last year at 900 yards. But defensively, Blade, here we go. He had 92 tackles, three TFLs, an interception. Not bad at all. What about Carter, though? Where is Carter? Here he is, 78 tackles, three and a half sacks, no picks. The other Carter, a linebacker, had two picks. Hold on, what was the, uh, the freaking, what were the developments? We didn't even get to check. I completely forgot to check. Cannon has to go. He let in way too many sacks. Yikes. Uh, defense. Oh, Blade is an X Factor. Carter's a superstar. We're gonna have to get rid of that morale crap. I don't like it. Reach Elite we have for Carter. And then Blade is a whole X Factor though. We have Zone Orc, Strip Specialist. I kind of want to leave it. Things like this, even though it may not be the best ability, tell stories about our players, you know? Maybe Blade really is just that good at stripping the ball out. Okay, we have a lot of salary cap. Beautiful. Please, I just need a quarterback. That's all I need. Quarterback. Tyreek Hill is here. <gasps> Ooh, imagine, imagine we added Reek. Hold on, don't get distracted, Crow. Josh Jacobs is also here. So there's no quarterbacks. Sam, D the game's trolling me. I would rather draft a quarterback than start Sam Darnold. If we had Tyreek, that had so much firepower. He's already gone down to 98 Excel. And I can imagine over the next couple years, it's only going to get worse. Josh Jacobs is also a very smart pick here because then we don't need to draft a running back. Now, if you were intelligent about this, Tyree could be the last of these three players that you would get. You'd get Quinn Nelson or Josh Jacobs. Even Zadarius Smith would be very, very good. He rejected it. He went with the Raiders. Of course you did, you bastard. I offered you five million more dollars. Uh, if that's the case, I'm d Ugh, nobody's going after Josh Jacobs. I don't know why. That way we at least save a lot of our cap room as well. So next year, we can pretty much go all out and pray that there's a quarterback in there. Big addition to the offense, without a doubt. So Zay Barton is consensus number one. But J I feel like they're going to take Jalil though. Oh yeah, they're definitely going to take Jalil. Look at that. 40 yard vert, three cone. Look at that, man. We have to trade up and get the first pick. Okay, it is what it is. Gonna go ahead and pick up the first pick in the draft. I just felt like they were gonna take Jaleel. This video is brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes eating healthy easy, even with a busy schedule. They offer a delicious variety no matter your preference, sourced and packed with fresh produce directly from farmers, featuring quick breakfasts and lunches, additional protein sides, and even dessert. HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning so you can enjoy cooking and getting food on the plate within 30 minutes. The best part is after a busy day of work in the gym, I don't have the stress of wondering what to eat. Besides the amazing variety, it's very flexible. I can add or subtract meals if I know I'll be out for the night. With diet being crucial to the gym, I throw in extra proteins and they can accommodate you or your entire family with larger box sizes for more servings and more savings. I really enjoy cooking, but struggle to find the time. But now with HelloFresh, my love of cooking has come back. And no matter how bad I am at cooking with HelloFresh, my roommate always compliments me on how well it tastes. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 14CROW for up to 14 free meals across your first five HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. Again, that's code 14CROW in all caps to get up to 14 free meals and free shipping. Thank you to HelloFresh for the sponsor, and now, back to the video. Let's go ahead and make our selection. Jalil Wars, I already know I want you. You're a beast, combine warrior, and everything in between. 21 years old, there's nothing more that I want than Jalil Wars. Let's see where you go. 79 overall hidden development, and for the second year in a row, we draft the rank one player. Excel is 84, speed is 81, so that's 
really good what are you a nose tackle you're a power rusher you are really fast for a power rusher and i would have to guess that you would probably be a superstar dev as well emmanuel's the 25th pick and jalen is the 28th so i'm definitely going to be trading down here without a doubt let's take this we get next year carolina first and this year carolina first as well the 28th go ahead pull the trigger on that who's on the draft board you guys are later in the draft i don't think i'm going to take him with the 16th and 17th though i think that would be really really irresponsible keith reeves might be the play here he's a mid first rounder we need a tight end he's pretty fast as well surprisingly i might hold off on him though do pull the trigger on one of these two i'm gonna go emmanuel smith Look at that, first in the 40, I knew it. I, I just knew he was gonna be an absolute beast. What's Jalen Thompson though? He's again, first in speed, everything. He runs a 4-4 at linebacker. Emmanuel's higher on the board though, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on him. 77 hidden dev, he is ranked seventh in true talent and we drafted him at seven. So, so far so good, we are hitting where we need to. If he's 95 excel, 91 speed and ran a 4-4, but the linebacker also ran a 4-4, does that mean our middle linebacker is going to have 95 excel, 91 speed? 68 tackle is definitely a problem. Zone coverage is not good. A super talented yet raw prospect. Okay, there goes JJ Locke. He was a 73. So far, we have the two highest overall players. Jalen Thompson, without a doubt, pulling the trigger on you. 77 hidden dev. You are ranked six in true talent. So you are better than the safety yet later on in the draft. You are 6'4, 246. You guys had the same 40 time yet 87 Excel, 91 speed. Nonetheless, 89 tackle, 83 pursued. I like what I see. You cannot blitz to save your life. You are a run stopper, coverage linebacker. Let's go ahead and take uh, Keith Reeves. I like you better than Justin Santos. Yeah, Keith Reeves got to be the play here. Another combine warrior, 75 overall. Another hidden dev. He's ranked 15th, got him a 17th. Uh, 90 excel, that is very good for a guy that's 6'4", 250. This might strike you as dumb, but I'm going to get Tyler Allen here. 75, hidden dev, ranked 17th in true talent, drafted him at 28th. Yes, we could have traded down, but to be real with you, we don't really need any more picks in this draft. 99.9% .9 of the offensive linemen you draft are star dev. I've never in my whole life drafted a superstar offensive lineman before. Sydney Agnew, what do you got? 66, you're a hidden dev. Wow, okay, I was not expecting. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Let's see if the computer is better at drafting than me. Let's see who they would have taken. Oh, they took the draft board. I forgot that the computer drafts off your draft board. So that's my mistake. But Steve Bean is officially an armadillo. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six hidden depths. Wow. Again, I don't think Reeves, Allen, or Agnew are going to be anything crazy. They're definitely stars. But Jalen Thompson, Emmanuel Smith, or Walls, one of them, no, two of them have got to be superstars. I would bank on it. Holy smokes, talk about an upgrade. 79 overall. Let's have a look at our final roster. We'll also check out the dev traits as well. Wow. Okay, so... I'm going to start Taysom Hill again. He did well. Josh Jacobs at 94, so that's going to be good. Wish we kind of did pick up a backup running back, but that's okay. Okay, first and foremost, Allen. Tyler Allen. Let's see. I'm going to assume you're a star dev. Star dev. Okay, good, good, good. That's fine. Didn't expect anything more than that. I guess we'll check out Hennings and Agnew. I didn't even draft Hennings. He's also a hidden dev, so that's seven hidden developments. Star dev. Okay, fine. And I would be willing to bet anything that Agnew is also a star dev. But just to be safe, just to be sure, he's a star dev. All right, now we get into the fun plays. First off, Keith Reeves, rookie out of Michigan State. We got him pretty late in the draft. Star dev. Okay, so okay, let's start with let's start with Emmanuel Smith. I'm curious because I'm more excited for the other two. So right, let's start with Smith. See what you are. He's wearing number 19 at safety. That's pretty badass. Manuel is superstar. Okay. That's what I like to see, boys. Who else we got? Who's next? I want to save Walls for last. So Thompson, Jalen Thompson, 6'4", rookie out of the Ohio State University. Your development trait is superstar. Yes. Okay, two for two. Don't tell me Walls is a star dev. Bruh, imagine. 
We got him with the first pick. He was first ranked in talent too. All right, let's check it out. Let's cut the BS, please. X Factor, please. X Factor. Walls is... Superstar! Okay, we'll take it! Hopefully the offensive line can stand their ground. Laramie Tunts was a 91. I mean, I think we're still just going to get destroyed on the right tackle, but hopefully, 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 we can uh, make some plays. But fellas, if you made it this far in the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome, and from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm when they cannot breathe right underwater. Sometimes I'm when they cannot speak in outer space. Sometimes I'm when they cannot call upon a thunder.